Welcome back. East Texas. We are joined now by Pam Gabriel this morning. She's the owner of Sweet Gourmet here in Tyler. As we continue to prepare for our holiday gatherings, you can't have some holiday cheer without some holiday spirits. Am That's I right? That's right. That's <laughs> right. And it can be spirit filled or spirit less, meaning alcohol or non-alcohol. Um, this time of year, mulling spice is the, the big thing. The best smell. The hot cider that we all drink and it all comes usually prepared so that we don't have to put a whole lot of effort into it. So the first one I want to talk about is the hot rubies. This is a citrus mix that has cloves and cinnamon and all kinds of those fall flavors. So you can, and it's a little bit concentrated, you can pour it out in glasses, top it with champagne, float some cranberries in it and just serve that and it's so yummy serve it cold but you can also mix it with a little bit of the pecan praline bourbon I didn't even know they made that they do you can get it at any liquor store and serve it hot and it's just oh it's, it's that like when a cold front blows in you just kind of want that Another thing is the Mills Company, which is right here in Tyler, Texas, they make a mulling spice mix, and we mix theirs with cran apple juice. Normally you mix them with apple cider, but this mixed with cran apple juice is incredible. It's just so tart and sweet, and it just screams Thanksgiving and Christmas. It's wonderful, just wonderful. The last thing that we're so familiar with are the Aspen mulling spices. These have been around for years. Cynthia, you've probably seen these little cartons growing up. Yes, those I know when that's on the stove, the house is gonna smell great. It that's does. And what you can do, not only do you just mix apple cider with it, mm -hmm. but you can make a pie with this. No way. So, Oh yeah, easy, easy, easy. So what I did, I took about six to eight green and red apples. You peel them, cut them up into little bite-sized chunks. I put them in a mixing bowl and I pour this whole carton over it, okay? Stir it up, I put a few of our dried cranberries in there. I pour it in a cast iron baking vessel mm -hmm. so you could do a Dutch oven. It's great in a skillet as well. Pour it in there, dot it with butter, a ready-made pie crust. You just put it on top, crimp the edges, cut the slits in it because in a fruit pie you have to let the steam evaporate. I knew that. Cook it about 350 to 375 for about an hour. You can do this two or three days ahead and then serve it over ice cream or put the ice cream on top, serve it at room temperature. Some people like to put a little cheddar cheese, but this is the star of the show and it makes it so easy. You said ready-made pie crust. Uh -huh, just out of the frozen kind that are in, yeah, they come frozen and there's two per box. And you <laughs> <just> <laughs> I'm like, I can handle this, I You think. can do this, Cynthia, you need to take this. Your grandmother would be so impressed. She would be. It's so easy and you just, you ro it just rolls out and then you just take it and you put it like this and you crimp the edges and you're good to go. It can't be any easier. So this, you said, you do sell at Sweet Gourmet. We do. We do sell it at Sweet Gourmet. Um, we do not sell the alcohol at yep. Sweet Gourmet. <laughs> you can get that at the grocery store. And don't buy expensive champagne when you're going to mix it with something. Something nice. Yeah, because it, you know, you lose that good expensive flavor. You just kind of want the fizz. If you don't want to do champagne, you could do like Topo Chico, Club Soda, anything oh. like that. This is fun at the kids' table, too, to mix with a little fizzy water. And they, you know... It's just a little happy, fun drink for there them. They go. love it. It's great. They have no idea. They have no idea that it's so fancy. Love it, love it. And Pam, where can people find you at? Sweet Gourmet, across from the mall. We are open seven days a week, Sunday, even 1230 to 5. All right, thanks for stopping happy by. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, my gosh, I can't believe it's already here. I have two weeks. <laughs>